Welcome, everybody, to my 100% walkthrough of Doom Zero for the PC. Played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. Today, we are in Map 27, The Junction. Oh, my, my, my. Does this look like tricks and traps to me? I think it does. We have many doors that... We can't go through just yet, actually. There's a blue door, a red door, an orange door, or yellow door, um, gargoyle door, lion door, satyr door, and two regular doors with arrows on the ground pointing to them. It doesn't matter which door you go through, so we'll go out to the main junction area of this map, and there is a lot to look at. The blue building, the red building, the yellow building, all of these we can't access yet. And then the gargoyle building, and then the lion and satyr building are also back there as well. And then we come across yellow, red, and blue pillars, and gargoyle, lion, and satyr pillars. And they are guarding the BFG 9000 over there. So what to do first? My goodness! The first thing we're going to do is go in between the blue and red buildings to get this map started with the regular shotgun. Now when you fall down here, by the way there's a chainsaw on the right, when you fall down here you can't go back up. So we're trapped on this side. So what I do in this room is I fire a shot and look at the blue building's area here to snipe off three alpha souls that come from the top. They'll also come from the red building as well. So in essence, six alpha souls we have to kill. Three by the blue building and three by the red building. There are a ton of power-ups up there, but we can't access any of them yet. Except the keys. Now, you can grab any one of the three keys, but when you do, the other keys will be shut off from you. You can grab any key you want, but I choose the red because not only is it my favorite color, but it will lead to the red door, and the red door leads to the super shotgun. And I want that first. Now, with the red key in hand, we can find the stairs going up and grab the chain gun along the way. And these stairs will lead us back to the junction area where we just were. And by the way, this is the witch area here, and that's the exit up there. We'll head back into the tricks and traps area and with the red key, let's go through the red door and go into the red building itself. Now when you make your first right, on the right side is a different textured wall that has light amplification visors in it. I will save those for a later time and you'll see when that will be. But shh, don't wake up any of the enemies in here but we will steal their ammo. Don't fire a shot. Don't alert the enemies. We will just carefully and stealthily steal their ammo. We'll come back to the lion switch later when we have more firepower. Make sure to grab both of the energy cell packs in here. And we'll sneak by the alpha souls and grab the super shotgun and grab the Berserk Pack. And that will lock all of the colored buildings with the appropriate face pillars. So we'll grab the blue, yellow, the Mega Armor, and the Supercharge. And again, we'll backtrack up the stairs. Because now, with all three keys in hand, by the way, we can open up the colored doors, the colored pillars. 
but they'll just take us to the three corresponding face pillars that we can't go through just yet. And back in the Tricks and Traps hub, which door to go through now? We could go back through the red door, but that's just filled with overpowered enemies, even with the super shotgun. So let's go through the blue door next, and into the blue building. Now inside this seizure-inducing area and this bitrate lessening area are a bunch of soldiers and alpha souls. So I just fire one good shot, alert the enemies, peek in and peek out, and let the enemies murder each other. By the way, three revenants will also come for you, so I just use this area as my hold point. And yes, you are trapped in here. Or rather, I should say, the enemies are trapped inside with Doom Guy. That's a better way of putting it. Because Doom Guy, he is never trapped in with the enemies. Wow, everyone's getting mowed down like weeds. Now again, two more revenants are aching to get their teeth into me. Grab the last energy cell pack that was right here to boost you to 300. Okay, here comes one. Still waiting on one more, I guess. Or maybe he already died. I don't know. I wasn't keeping count very well. He must have already died. Okay. But there's two specters that will come for you. Don't shoot at them when you're in the hallway because you'll alert the rest of the enemies. So we'll just punch these guys out. But yes, there are a bunch of enemies guarding the switch and the switch is needed to lower this barrier, the Seder barrier. But now with the rocket launcher, these enemies pose no problem. I shoot about five or six rockets down there, and then just use my super shotgun to clear out the rest. Usually the Mancubus helps out tremendously. Just to save my rockets a bit. Press the Seder switch to open up the Seder barrier, but also open one of the barriers leading to the BFG. We'll backtrack once again to the Tricks and Traps hub. And this time we'll go through the yellow door and go into the yellow building. You guys remember this? This is like map six, Echo Hall's all over again. So we'll just run through, right straight in the middle. Grab the plasma rifle. And then, let all the enemies have it. There are two major enemies of note in here. One is the Arch Vile, and the second is the Pain in the Ass Elemental. and both of which are now dead. Basically, just keep holding down the fire button of the plasma gun, and you win. No crushing enemies this time. Well, not yet, I should say. Press the gargoyle switch to open up the gargoyle barriers, but also open up one of the barriers to the BFG. We'll backtrack again. But this time, let's go back through the blue door. Yes, there are some items I do want to grab that I didn't grab earlier, like this energy cell pack. We are now loaded. Let's backtrack once again. 
And now comes the hardest door, the red door. It's full of barons of hell. We're still going to say the light amplification visors. Now what we're going to try to do here is not get hit by this guy, but press the lion switch and get out of there. Try not to wake up too many barons. You will wake up at least two of them, but when you press the lion switch, we can now go and get the BFG. And with the BFG, we can go back through the red door and use it. Whoa, that was just a bit not smart of me. Yeah, when you stay up here, I don't think any of the other enemies get alerted to your presence, so stay up here for as long as you can and take care of whatever barons woke up. Then you can deal with the remainder easily. But it's, I think it's kind of a trap here because there are other enemies of note, like these guys that will get in your way. So I just stand back here. Wow, that was a bit foolish of me. I should have used this as my hold point, but I didn't. Again, like I said earlier, if you stand here and kill the Mancubi, none of the other enemies will be alerted. But if you shoot anywhere in this room and this room, the Barons will be alerted. So, and the Mancubi and the Spectres. There. Now we can take care of the other enemies fine. I usually take zero, and I mean zero, damage in this area, but I let the enemies get the better of me this time. Okay, that's already flipped, obviously. We got the BFG. Now, with all three barriers open, that means we can go back to the hub the Tricks and Traps hub, and we notice all three of the face doors are now open as well, and the face buildings are now accessible. Let's head into the Gargoyle one first. We'll start from left to right. Might as well. And here we enter a dark area until we step inside, and then everything becomes light. Don't shoot at the enemies at all, actually. We want to run. Just keep running to the switch and flip it. And you'll crush all the enemies. Oh, yes. Now, yeah, the Lost Souls are, are put there as bait to get you to fire. But still, don't fire just yet. I want to lure them away from this from where they are, actually, but they're not wanting to charge me. There we go. Man, that guy's not charging. Anyway, the reason for that is because of these revenants that I'll just try and rocket launcher down. Then when they're dead, we can kill the lost souls. The reason why I didn't want to kill the Lost Souls is because while you're busy fighting them like this, trying to find where they are, the Revenants will be alerted and they'll be at your back, trying to kill you. We'll rush in where the Revenants were, press the switch to open the barriers to the Witch switch, and the Crushers will stop. There is a secret on one of these corpse piles, corpse cubes, it's the switch that will open up the backpack. There is another secret in here if you find the fireplace looking wall and just run through it. And it takes us to a teleporter puzzle. There are three stashes of supplies over there, but you can only access one of the stashes, as far as I know. Behind each stash is a 
fleshy looking wall branded with a half triangle, a pentagram, and a fish symbol. These teleporters have the corresponding symbols and we have to go along the path. Now I want the plasma first and foremost so we'll follow the half triangle pathway. Don't step on the uh, ones without the symbol, it will just take you back. There, see? Now I've tried to race and get these supplies, but you just cannot. So we'll get the plasma. And then that will raise up as well. Now see, now watch. If I if I take the wrong one, so I go triangle, 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 and let's say I take the wrong one, it will just take you back to the start of the whole thing again. Now we're done with this area. So we can go the wrong way, and <laughs> let's go back this way, and head back out. Now we could go through the lion door right now, but there are a couple of things I want to do. First thing I want to do is gather up some ammo, since now I have a backpack. I guess I took all the ammo that was here except the one energy stack. Especially bullets, they're going to be very handy. There's a reason I'm doing this, because the lion building is pretty dangerous. And I think we're going to be good, because I got 369 cells. I think I'll be good. Now we'll head back through the red door. And now we will grab the light amplification visor. And go through the lion door. And down into the dark abyss. Normally this area is completely pitch darkness. We'll run out and we'll actually alert all the lost souls. We'll just BFG as many as we can. There! Everybody's all dead. That was quick and efficient. Now, there are corresponding little islands here with stuff on them. Here is the Shish Kebab of Heads. This is the main hub of this dark area. And we see a red torch and a green torch. To the left of the red torch is this back area, which is a secret area with a mega armor. Now we'll go to the red torch and we see this flaming barrel with some plasma and rockets. We'll go back to the red torch because this is where we want to be for a secret supercharge. Yes, these are secrets because this is normally a pitch black area. Back to the shish kebab of heads, let's go to the green torch. Now there is a golden head thing over there, but along the way, we see this area with a berserk pack. I'll show off this area in the dark, by the way. Oh, yep, it's already getting dark, see? You can't see the arachnotrons at all. In fact, okay, so here's where we are with the golden heads. But if I were to go back here, see? It's almost pitch darkness. You don't know where you're going. So at the Golden Heads, we'll race to the Green Torch, and there are some specters. And there is the Eye over there. The Sigil Eye. Too bad we can't use the Eye, like in uh, Sigil. I wish you could. But you cannot. And we'll press the witch switch. 
Now we'll backtrack all along these little island areas, back to the shish kebab of heads, and go up the lift. And that's why I saved the light amplification visor. Now the last area, the Seder area. Can be the easiest area, but also the most troublesome area. And by the way, the witch switch needs to be flipped to get in here. That's BFG the Baron on the left. Now when we press this switch to open the exit area, some arch vials have opened up next to the Baron. In fact, I think there's four of them. Just basically keep shooting until the uh, monster count is over. Right now. There we go. Now where the arch vials came from is a secret. With just some rockets inside. So we'll head back out. And now, the witch area has now been opened, so let's head up. And the platforms will rise, allowing us to get up. What awaits us in this witch area? The exit door, with a walk-through fence on the right, to a backpack and a secret area. Now inside here is a pretty technological teleporter. And that's it for the junction. A really cool map, a pretty short map, but there's lots of running around to do, a lot of doors to go through, a lot of backtracking, but it feels like the backtracking is worth it because you get ammo, you get to see more enemies, and you get to unlock more stuff. Um, you can pretty much take any route you want. You don't have to take the route I took. You know, red door, then blue door, then yellow door, then back to red door, gargoyle, lion, and then satyr. You can take it pretty much any order you want, except for maybe a couple of doors that you have to take a certain order in, like the witch switch to get to the satyr area, but that's beside the point. Um, this map is really fun. I actually do enjoy this one. It's It makes you think. It makes you think what weapons you need the most, what to prioritize the most, and uh, how to handle each area. The Red Door is definitely the hardest with all those Barons of Hell. That's why I save them all until I press all the face switches, and then I can get the BFG, the non-secret BFG, and I can then take them out just fine that way. But they still manage to hit me, so whatever. Next is Suspension. What are we suspended above, or why are we suspended? I guess we'll find out next time in Map 28, Suspension. So until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I'll see you then in more Doom Zero. So take care, everybody. I'll see you then. By the way, guys, the key word for this, the key word for this video, is Zombie Man Green Hair. Put that in the comment section, and you may win a prize. See you guys then. Take care, everybody.